National Geographic's Explorer is the longest running documentary series in cable television history, taking viewers on journeys throughout the world and beyond. Its host, Richard Bacon, joins us in the Fox 401 studio to preview its upcoming season. Welcome, Richard. Well, hi. It's I nearly said welcome to you because I'm so used to being a host. Yes. Isn't it weird when you're on the opposite side of things? Really strange. So, tell me exactly how Explorer is changing because, like we said, it's been around forever. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, until now it's been a one hour documentary. Mm -hmm. One hour a week, one story. And I think we thought, one, there are more stories to tell. And two, we wanted to turn storytelling, documentary storytelling, into an event. Yes. So, there's a studio audience. And we play three docs. First one's about 10 minutes, second one six or seven, third one four or five minutes. A lot of content. Yeah, from stories all over the globe. We have correspondents right now in Pakistan, in mm -hmm. Istanbul, in France. Um, and so we show the doc and then we talk about it. But it's, it, I guess it, it's just, as I said, it's turning that kind of storytelling into more of an event. Yeah, and also more interactive because you see how the audience is reacting. But do you ever think that you are going to get out of the studio and into the action. <laughs> I like studios. Like, look, we're in one now. You yes. turn up, somebody puts makeup on you, somebody presses your clothes, somebody gives you a drink, someone, like, they make your tea for you. So uh, well, <laughs> We might be having different experiences. <laughs> but you go. <laughs> uh, um, well, there have been some budget cuts at Fox. <laughs> you have to make your own tea. Um, so studios I always are, would anyway. Uh, studios are just nice environments. I have a... Uh, I have been out of the field once so far. I went to live with some refugees oh, wow. in southern Italy to tell a story huh. um, about a town that welcomes refugees. And I think that illustrates what we're trying to do with the show, which mm -hmm. is our stories told around the world. We're trying to give you different angles on things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and we hope that, so I hope that the piece on refugees just makes you see refugees in a different way. Well, that's kind of the importance of a show like Explore, because even though we're so vast, and so diverse. Now with social media and the media in general, the world gets smaller. So why is the show vital to keeping us interconnected? I think, well, I think it's about looking out. And, and you know, right now in America, you know, there's a new president on the way. All right, all right. And that word isolationist is used quite a lot. And I think that, I don't, for me, in a way, it increases the necessity of a show like this. We, we cover stories in America, and lots of them, mm -hmm. but we also look out around the globe and we are covering climate change and we're covering ISIS. We, <laughs> this is such a strange sentence to say. We were exclusively at the opening of Jesus' tomb the other day. That, yes, that, right. that's historic and awesome that you were there. We were that's there. such a pivotal moment in history and you took part of that. Right, yeah. And there's, there's also one episode that is a bit troubling uh, about uh, happening in the UK where they're allegedly interviewing students and, and young children about their thoughts. Yeah. What's going on there? I know. This is in my own country. Yeah, your people. I know. <laughs> um, both our countries have got things to be a bit embarrassed about right now. But um, I, uh, that is about, it's almost like pre-crime. You remember Minority Report, and mm -hmm. it's about interviewing children to find out if they have extremist tendencies. Huh. And it's fascinating, and it happens in schools. And that's another story we tell. So I hope that when you come to our show... We will either show you stories you haven't heard of before, like that one. Right. So I don't think you'd heard of that. No. Or never. we take stories like climate change, ISIS, and refugees, and we give you a new angle. Mm -hmm. And then we do lighter stories as well. We, we went in search of and found the last ever batch of hallucinogenic honey. And I didn't even know there was such a thing. I know, exactly. Guess when someone's making your tea, right. you never know what they might be putting in it. That's what happens. <laughs> the person in the studio making my tea also gets me high. And that is why I like studios And that's so why you like staying in the safety <laughs> of a studio. But I, and it's an incredible series and one to check out, especially because it's important nowadays to be an informed yeah. viewer. Before you comment, learn a little bit. Thank you, that's it. We are full of facts. The show yeah. opens with numbers about a particular issue. Then we go into our documentaries. You know when you watch a great doc and often you yourself want to talk about it afterwards? It's like yes. that's kind of what we do yes. within the show. It's the new kind of water cooler conversation. Yeah, I, I it's so. better than the Kardashians. It, it leaves a little bit more uh, gravitas to things. So That is the only show my wife watches. <laughs> We're not going to judge her because I do too. It's a, I judge her. It's a guilty pleasure. I judge myself. 
<laughs> so it's fine. We don't need so much judgment. Do you feel so guilty when you watch the Kardashians? Yes, I do, and I'm surprised I'm suing Lucy right now. Let's just move on and congratulate you on an amazing, amazing new job. That's very kind of you. Thank and you. A, and a long-running series that offers a lot, a lot of insight. So thanks again. That's very kind of you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The National Geographic Channel series Explore premieres on Monday, November 14th at 10 p.m. Eastern, and it airs every Monday night. So make sure to watch out for it. For Fox 4 and 1, I'm Diana Falzone.